What's up guys this is Raj Shivare with a cool new video well in this video i'm going to uh, show you how you can change the voices in the pyt tsf module of python that means how you can change the male voice of the python text to speech module into the female voice and vice versa that means how to change the female voice into the male voice okay so so i'm using the python 2.7.13 version okay and uh, i have already opened it opened it to the, this is the shell of python 2.7.13 i will just open a new script file scripting uh, window sorry so first of all what we have to do is we have to import the module that is pytt fx okay now now uh, we have to define a variable that uh, the variable may be anything you like well in this uh, case i'm using engine i'm naming it as engine it equals to pytsx dot init and then two parentheses there will be no parameters okay now if uh, you know how many voices the pytsx provides but and uh, but you don't know the id number of those voices then uh, there is a problem okay and if you don't know how many uh, voices does the pytts model provides to you then also it is a problem but the solution is same for both the problems okay so what you have to do is just um, give a new variable let's say voice no not voice um let's say sound okay sound is equals to um engine dot get then capital p of and then write property um okay and in the parenthesis write in strings voices it will give you the list of which kind of voices are present in the pyt tss along with their ids okay so our sound variable carries the list okay so let's uh, print that list first of all print sound okay so let's save it um let's name it as voice okay so we have a, we have saved our file now we should run it and see the list of the voices pytts provide us okay so we have the list okay so the pytts model provide us um okay two voices okay the first one voice is this and after the comma the second one voice is this okay so let's try both of these voices what do you say huh okay so i will just um erase the print uh, command and instead of that i will write here um okay engine dot set then property with capital p and then write here um voice okay voices not sorry voice okay and then write here um sorry here okay so here you have to write uh, sound sound and then in the list zero so that the first one voice okay remember that the list of our voices is uh, present in this variable okay so that's why we are referring this sound variable here and we are saying that in that list we want the first one okay first one voice and then you have to write dot id so that it can set the voice property 
and then you have to close the parenthesis and let's uh, give it some string so that it can speak that string okay so let's do this um engine dot say in parenthesis let's write um what should i say what should it say huh um okay 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 so we have written it oh. and then we should write the command as engine dot run with capital a and and then again capital w wait and then two parentheses without any parameters now let's save it and then run it there is an error in your program um okay now okay the comma was i think the error now let's run it again okay the error is gone I should thanks for subscribing me okay you did you hear i don't think that you hear because i was speaking my bad sorry guys sorry guys but let me uh, run it again for you and this time you can listen the voice now i'm pressing f5 Thanks for subscribing me. Okay, so this is the first one voice. That means this ID. This first one ID is for a male voice. Okay. Now let's try this for the second one ID. So to try that, we just you need to refer the second one ID in the of the sound variable in this code. Okay. So I will just write here one. and then it will refer the second one id okay this is at the zeroth position and the second one id is at the first position in the list so i will just save it again and then i will press f5 thanks for subscribing me okay so we got a female voice in the next time right so the python offers us two type of voices female and male Actually, there are only two types of voices that every uh, text-to-speech model can offer. So now I have shown you how you can change the voices in the P B T T S S module, right? You, if you want to use a male voice, then you just have to refer the first one ID, and if you want to use a female voice, then you just refer refer to need to refer the second one ID in the given code. in this code um engine dot set property and the property is p must be capital okay then voice in the strings and then comma then sound the variable in which your list is stored and then refer the position of the id okay remember that the position numbering of position starts from 0 okay so that's why the first one uh, voice was at the zero position and the second one voice was at first position and then you have to write dot id so that it can uh, uh, understand that this is an id of the voice and for which you want to set the voice okay so i think that's it for this video and uh, if you have any questions like uh, that like can we do something more with pyptdtsx or uh, is pyptdtsx is the only um, option for us then you can comment me them obviously you can comment me them in the comment box and please comment comment those question because they really help me to understand uh, what the material you want from me and uh, how what kind of videos i should make so please ask me questions and uh, i will definitely reply you guys obviously and uh, uh, if you want me to give any suggestion then please give um, to me suggestions in the comment box and uh, i will definitely follow up those suggestions because they, they really help me to make my videos more good more better and uh, um 
don't forget to subscribe if you like my video then give it a thumbs up and if you don't like my video then give it a thumbs down but i hope but i hope that you like my video so that you can give me a thumbs up so if you want me if you want to give me any suggestion then feel free to give suggestion in the comment box and i will definitely reply you guys and thanks for subscribing don't forget to subscribe and uh, that's it for this video we will meet in the next video where i will show you how you can uh, um, control the speed of pytpsx okay where you can control the rate of uh, saying words so stay tuned for that video and uh, that's it for this video we will meet in the next video that will be much more cool than this video and uh, uh, goodbye